Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're gonna to be doing a little get ready with me, answering your questions as well. And I'm also gonna quickly show you guys how I get this wavy hair, because so many of you have asked me how to do it, although I'm not a hair professional. I just wanna put that out there. But um, yeah, I just really have been digging this hair look. Like I just feel so good in it. I just love it, you know, I can't say anything else. But yeah, it's just so... It's so effortless, I feel like. Um, today's person's vacation shout out is gonna go to Tanisha. Thank you so much for subscribing and hitting that bell button. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. I'm not gonna ramble on too much. We'll jump straight into the video. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is sort out this hair, cause this is just air dried hair. Um, I did blow dry it a bit at the top so it doesn't go funny. Cause if I don't, it just goes weirdly flat. I'm just gonna brush through it oh my god i don't know about you guys but i really hate brushing my hair i'm just going to use some of this bumble and bumble heat protective primer i've gone through like three bottles of this like as you can see i just always use this if i'm putting heat on my hair this does get sent to me but it's not something that i wouldn't go out and buy once i haven't i no longer have some i just have a stock of them right now but it's really really good and I've tried a lot of heat protectants and a lot of them I find makes my hair feel like greasy whilst this doesn't. So I'm just gonna, especially on the ends, and I'm just gonna brush through that. My hair's like growing, which I'm so happy about. I miss my long hair, guys. Okay, so, we're just I like to just split it in half in the middle just randomly and then I'm just gonna start from the bottom just randomly take out sections and we're just gonna when I, whenever I'm styling my hair, I like to go by sections. Now this is the style of the show. Me, me and my sister actually got this on Amazon and it works really good. The only thing is that I find it works better on one day old hair. So when I did it on my one day old hair, um, it literally held on so well and it lasted on for days. And my hair didn't look oily because of the waviness, so I was able to keep my hair longer without washing it. I don't like washing my hair too often. And even my sister was like, what did you do to hold it? Like, did you do it straight after washing it or did you wait? And I was like, yeah, I waited. And even she noticed that when she did it on her fresh hair, it didn't hold as well. Um, and then I tried it on fresh hair and it didn't hold as well like I, I did it the first time. So I've been playing around with this and this definitely works on one day old hair. I don't know about all tools, but this, is just it and it, it does get really hot i don't know how much yeah it goes to 220 which is what i'm gonna keep it on i mean for my hair type i don't need to go that high but i just find that it works best for me so then i'm gonna take this front bit here and we're gonna just basically put it on our hair like this because it's so hot you really don't need to keep it long on there so I, I find this, I find doing my hair like this is really quick. And I just keep going along and I put, I try to fit the barrels in the, where the last dent is. The last dent is here. I don't know if you guys can see with my black hair, but the last dent's there. So I'm going to fit the barrel in that last dent and I'll just do the same. And I just go all the way to the end, guys. And there we go. This is what it looks like. So yeah, I just, I'm just i just going to do this for the rest of my hair. And honestly, that is it. I'm going to show you guys one more time. I'll get just this random piece in the back. And I'm going to put it in the hair like this. It's just a lot of waiting.
Okay, so that's all my hair done. I like to like zhuzh it up, kind of like separate it lightly with my fingers. Not too much though, but it just gives so much volume. And I just love this style at the moment. I'll probably get sick of it at some point, but I try not to do it too much because then I know I'll get bored of it. But I just, whenever I do my hair like this, I feel so good. That first thing that I always start with is my got to be glue gel. Like I just feel like I can't do my brows without this product now. And I just brush it through both of my brows. And I kind of pull my brows upwards. I feel so Christmassy with my nails and my jumper. Okay, let's go to let's go straight to your questions. I need some lip balm. Oh my god, I swear Instagram is so annoying. They say that the the questions and all of that stuff, the stats disappear after seven days. But my, I literally put my um, Insta story like two days ago and it's all gone. So it's a good thing I screenshotted everything beforehand. Um, so the first one we have is: Would you get any more pets? And what do you currently have? I have two cats at the moment and my sister has a black Labrador. So they're all here and they love each other very much. I'm not gonna lie, I do want another pet, but I'm just waiting for the right time. I feel like if I could have a farm, I would. I just love animals. Next one we have is how many tattoos do you have? What advice can you give to someone who wants one? I have three tattoos. I got a big one on my left arm. And then I've got two on my wrist. I actually have my husband's name. And um, some that's it. And on the other wrist, it says my angel in uh, French. Now, I do want to get this one lasered off. It is so bad. It's so badly done. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I want to get rid of it. So I'll probably get that lasered off at one point in time. I'm not rushed and I'm not too bothered about it. I, I, I It really depends on the mindset of each individual because tattoos can be like a little thing you know, but then a tattoo can be a major, major commitment to others. So for me, it's become not that big. After I got my big one, like it hasn't been a big of a deal now. I really want to get more. Um, I do have some plans to get some more in the future, but I'm not rushing it. Me and my husband do have both our names tattooed on each other. We actually did it when we were 16. I'm now 20, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be 26 now. So um, I wouldn't advise that, okay guys? Cause it, it's risky, you know, it's risky, but you know, it's up to you, do you boo. But, uh, but yeah, we did it really young and I actually did it with one of his mates at his house and everything was sterilized and stuff, but I would not recommend that to anyone because he did it badly. It's leaked and it's when when I say it's leaked it's like the tattoo has leaked and you can barely read what's there so yeah definitely save up to go to an actual professional look at that work on Instagram I'm just using some Too Faced Born This Way concealer they are quite pricey so you do have to save up for them unless you, you got some coins um, and make sure I feel like it's better to have a meaning between be, behind your tattoos like um, like for me, there's such a big meaning in my um, wolf tattoo here. Um, it's kind of like a geometric um, wolf tattoo. It's got the evil eye at the top. It's got a lotus flower to represent like Mauritius. And the whole wolf idea is just my massive, my big, big love that I have for animals. And um, so yeah, I, I just know that I'll never regret it. It won't grow old. Even the, the name of my husband, like we both got it when we were young, but it, it still means something. Like some people might find it ridiculous, some people don't. There's many people that do it. I just feel like when it comes to that, just keep an open mind. Um, I know a lot of people can be so judgmental when it comes to that. I have experienced it myself, but I do me. I you know I wouldn't recommend it because it is a big risk. I know some people that have got it and had to cover it up. At the end of the day, you can cover it up, you can get it lasered off. So it's not the end of the world, but do you really want to do that? You know, maybe get something like matching tattoos or something rather than a name. I don't know. Definitely my biggest advice would be to have some meaning behind the tattoo. Um, don't just get something random. Although some people get random stuff done on them as well. Once they have a lot, they just don't care. Like I said, it depends on the person's mindset and their view on, on, on and their view on tattoos in general. Do you prefer French desserts or Indian desserts? Oh my god. 
Oh my god, I don't know. Do you know I love macaroons and I love both, I can't choose. It really depends on my mind, you know, like what I feel like eating in that moment in time. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so many of you asked for me to do a look on the Naughty Palette. I did do an Instagram on it, but I'm going to do a look today. Okay, so I'm first going to use the shade Untamed. It is so pigmented, guys. If you want a lot of, like, pigment on your shadows, I definitely just rec recommend, like, Packing it on and then using a lighter shade to blend out the edges. So the next shade I'm going to use is Arouse. And we're just going to press this on the outer corners to blend this out. Okay, so next question is, how has lockdown been for you and did you learn any new skill, etc.? Um, do you know what? I'm a big home person and I live with my family so I can't say it's been as tough as other people out there but I just think the big thing for me lately has been work like the work side of things have been stressing me out a lot lately um, doing longer hours and even when I was going through a rough time actually work was keeping my mind off things so it was a good a positive there but I just I don't know I just miss going out like eating I feel like even when I went to the doctors the other day, like, I kind of forgot how it is to be out, like, in the cold. I forgot how cold it can get in the UK. The main thing I miss is going out, eating with my friends and my family. I really don't like the mask thing. I literally feel like I can't breathe every time I go out. That's the main reason I don't want to go out anymore, even for shopping. I used to love going to Tesco, do a bit of shopping. The whole mask situation, I feel like I get so nauseous and dizzy because I'm just breathing in the same air. I don't even know how frontline workers do it, like wear masks all day long even people working in shops and stuff it is not easy i mean at the end of the day if you have to do it you want to do it but because i don't have to and then when i go out i i have to wear it um i really don't like it, it frustrates me a lot but it has to be done don't it has to you have to wear masks there's no other choice did i learn, learn a new skill no i'm just trying to get back into the piano but apart from that haven't learnt a new skill. Have you? Have you guys learnt any new skill? I'm gonna use the shade Passion on my lid. It's definitely darker than what I thought it would be, but it's pretty. Just gonna blend out the edges. Uh, will you do a video for getting a job after graduating? I'm actually going to try and film that today actually. I've got all your questions in, I've written all the notes I possibly can so yes that video is coming soon. There is, There are a lot of questions and I don't think I can answer all of them in one video but I'll do my best. You're so beautiful, your voice is so therapeutic, may God bless you and your family. I really really appreciate messages like that honestly. Um, you guys are so kind. I get so many comments on my voice and like it's so therapeutic and etc but I just, when I edit my videos I find my throat, my voice so croaky. I'm actually going to take a bit of irresistible glittery shade and I'm just going to kind of press that on my on the lid just to give a little bit of like a sparkle but not too much. I'm just going to do a bit of eyeliner. Next I'm going to use some Classy Lashes UK Lashes in Janet, which is our, these are one of my favourite lashes. So the next question is, how did you and your husband meet? Uh, we actually went to school together. Because I've been with my husband since such a young age, I haven't really gone through like that dating process. <laughs> um, but it would be nice to like react to some of yours, like your bad ones, from someone who's always been in a relationship. But like, I feel like that'll be funny. Your top three makeup items if you were stuck on a desert island, i.e. mascara, love you. I love you too, boo. Um, I think it would definitely have to be brow gel, mascara, 
and lip balm because I feel like my lips would get really dry. Things that motivated you to lose weight and what are the advantages? I feel like once I started seeing results, it, it motivated me even more. I looked at a lot of workout videos online on Instagram whenever whenever I was on, on, on socials and that really motivated me. But it was really seeing the results um, and also feeling stronger and feeling good after workouts really motivated me. And I knew that I needed to just feel overall better. Like I needed to, to feel good in my skin. And I just always thought about that and I stuck to it. Although lockdown has done me dirty though. Um, I put on a weight, a bit of weight, but it's nothing that I can't like get back on track and you know, lose again. I'm not too bothered. My body is so easy to put on the weight, but I work so hard to lose it. It's just how my body is. It's life. I can't beat myself down about it and plus we're going into the Christmas season so I'm not going to be like all strict and everything but I'm definitely going to be more active so that's what I'm going to be doing but yeah I just feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves and I, I tend to put so much pressure on myself as well which I'm trying to stop like I, I just don't have time to bring myself down I, I need to be happy you know what is your opinions on this year's rap game I loved it oh my god girl I loved it too I even got my sister on it even my husband as well I did watch it last year and I really liked last year's one although I don't know where the guy who won is like I didn't I didn't see no music from him but this year was even better I really wanted uh, Zones or Leisha to win but I can't like spoiler alert like, like push now um, I wasn't surprised that Graft won because he's pretty good as well and I love that he's like a more of a conscious ramper. Honestly it was so good, I feel like everyone was amazing. Um, I did feel bad for Leisha but Leisha's quite strong you know, I feel like people under underestimate her. But you know what, Graft won, he deserved it. I feel like the top three were my favourite. Can you do a video testing out the Rare Beauty Foundation? I get this so much but Rare Beauty is not available in the UK, so unless it's available in the UK, I'm not going to go out my way to get it because most of my viewers are from the UK anyways. Once it does launch here, I'll be the first to go out and buy it or I'll try and see if I can get it sent to me, but for the moment, there won't be a review on Rare Beauty. I do want to try them. I've heard good things about it and I've seen reviews on it, but I can't do anything. They don't even ship to the UK and I don't know anyone in the States, so... What do you do um, for a living? I mean, your day job. I mean, I'll go more into this in my how to get a grad job <laughs> video. Whenever I talk so much, I can't breathe. I, I'm basically a counterparty risk analyst in a um, investment bank. So basically everything that's got to do with monitoring and checking and controls um, to ensure like borrowers on loans and limits are all properly booked and checked and meet the requirements and all that good stuff. <laughs> Who's your current favorite YouTuber? Lots of love from France. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Favorite YouTuber at the moment is definitely, I would say Desi Perkins. Like I just love her. Like she just brings such good vibes and I've been enjoying watching her fertility journey her ba with her baby. And I just, I'm just so happy for them, honestly. Then I'm not gonna lie, I've been loving some Nella Rose. Adeola Patron. For today's foundation, I'm going to be using the Luminous Foundation by Anastasia um, in the shade 345C. I'm just using a stippling brush to blend this. The next one's quite interesting is and it's do you believe things not working out now because of time and that person will come again i really feel like i believe in that like i feel like if things are not working out now and then you have to like separate if you guys are truly meant to be together you will find your way back to each other unless like it's like toxic that's a whole other story but if genuinely like you can't you have come to an agreement like at the moment it's not the right time for us then i do feel like if you you were made for each other you would fate will just bring you will just make you cross paths at a later date you know next i'm going to use the huda beauty tan toy medium Advice for getting over someone when you feel like they've already moved on there's so many people that you will have chemistry with out there just tell yourself that the right person for you will come in time 
if it hasn't worked for you, I, I feel like everything happens for a reason. If it hasn't worked out for you, then just trust the process. Trust that there's even better things, even bigger things coming for you. Focus on yourself, like maybe um, find a new hobby, focus on a hobby that you have. Meditate, I feel like meditating is so underrated. Spend time with family, communicate with your family, tell them how you feel, that really helps. It really helps to talk about it. Don't just brush it under the rug, but yeah, I just, I just feel like if you keep telling yourself that, you know, the right person will come for you, then just trust that, you know. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer again. I'm just gonna use some of my Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna use some of my NYX matte bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. One piece of advice you would tell your 18 year old self, younger self, by the way, I love you. I love you too, hun, thank you so much. Um, I would say not to give a crap about what other people think. Stop trying to please other people. Just be you and don't worry, like everything will turn out okay. What's something you're insecure about? I feel like we all have our insecurities. It's just learning to accept them. Um, I, but honestly, to a certain point, because I had the biggest insecurity about my teeth. I'm not gonna lie, like I look back at my videos and I hate what I see, like I hate it. So yeah, I did go ahead and get my teeth done and ever since, like it's just boosted my confidence. It wasn't just something that I thought, oh, okay, I'm gonna go do them in one day. Like it was a long process. It was years of thinking about it, getting it done, saving for it. Yeah, that was my biggest one. But now it's just like my favorite, one of my favorite things about me is like when I smile. Um, I'm just gonna do a bit on my nose. I'm now gonna use this blush. It's called Flower Pots Powder Blush in Warm Hibis Hibiscus. I f honestly, I'm being honest with you, it's like the weight gain I got because I don't feel good, my, I'm always in pain because my muscle hurts all the time. When, when, I was in, when I was being more active and I was a bit healthier, in terms of what I've eat, I was eating and drinking, I didn't have pain like this. Like my back hurts so bad, like my muscles always hurt. I'm not drinking as much water and my back acne is at its worst right now, so all of these things are just bugging me. It's all to do with what I'm eating and being more active. So that's definitely a change that I'm gonna have to make. Seven deaths in my family this month. How do you deal with this? That, honestly, that is very tough. I don't, I, I, I honestly wouldn't know myself because I was, we went all, we all went through a rough time when our dog Lily, who was like 14 years, passed away, literally grew up with her. And then afterwards, our grandma passed away. And it's like, our grandma, like, our grandma that we love so much and we spent most of our life with but seven deaths it is it's not easy at all like but what i would say like time heals time heals everything i feel like so you just need to be patient focus on positive things meditate like i said spend time spend time with your family and talk to them it's not easy i can't just sit here and be like oh it's gonna be fine it's gonna be tough but in a few months time or a few years you'll be fine I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Nymph All Over Highlighting Powder. How are you really? I'm actually doing really well. Um, I get this question a lot saying that I seem down. I was down a few months ago, but to be honest, in general, I'm a pretty chill, laid back person and it's just the way I am. Like some days I'm, it really depends on my mood. Sometimes I'm just like really hyper and excited to film and some days I'm just my normal self and I'm fine, but I just want to film and yeah, it just really depends how I am, but I'm I'm good, doing good, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna use this loaded lip polish in Vogue by Illamasqua for my lip. Do you know, a lot of the times I use my natural pigment like in my lips as a lip liner. I got a lot of questions on like wishes for a collab with beauty brands. Um, I wouldn't mind working on a lash collab or... I always used to say like an eyeshadow palette, but I don't, 
I'd be open to that because I feel like I would make like a nice everyday shadow palette. Um, I would love to work on like lips, lipsticks, lashes kind of thing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this kind of get ready with me, hair tutorial, makeup and little Q&A all in one kind of video. <laughs> um, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you can join the, the family and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!